so now we come on to the most important topic the response of series rlc circuit to sinusoidal excitation and we'll start directly from the numerical there is a sine wave let us suppose tan sine 2 pi t 1 ohm 1 henry and 1 farad all for simplicity initial conditions zero let us find out what is the current writing down kvl equation vt which is equal to tan sine 2 pi t is equal to 1 into it plus 1 di by gt plus 1 over 1 integral it dt taking laplace transform knowing that laplace of sin omega t is omega over s square plus omega square so vs which is equal to 10 into 2 pi over s square plus 4 pi square is given by is plus sis plus is over s which becomes s square plus s plus 1 over s into pi s so pi s can be written as 20 pi into s divided by s square plus s plus 1 And s square plus four pi square. Let i s is equal to a s plus b over s square plus s plus one plus c s plus b over s square plus four pi square, which is equal to sixty-two point eight s. Over s square plus s plus one and s square plus thirty nine point four three. On solving it, you will get four equations: a plus c is zero, b plus c plus d is zero, thirty nine point four three plus c plus d is sixty two point eight, and thirty nine point four three b plus d is equal to zero. And starting from this. You can obtain the values of each of them. First, subtract c plus d from both of them, so you will get an equation: thirty-nine point four three minus b is equal to sixty-two point eight. From there, you will get the value of b. Put the value of b here. You will get the value of d. After you know b and d, you can easily obtain c. Once you know c, a is negative of c, so you get these values. And on taking Laplace inverse, one can find out it. Thirty-nine 